definitely, like I said, very little weird with this flat bottom wheel. I'm gonna let up. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on a set of Corsa on the Xbox One. A lot of you guys have been telling me that I need to get back on a set of now that I have the Fanatec rig. So we are here to do a little Norschleiven run in the BMW M235 race car just to uh, see how the feedback feels and see how everything feels on the Fanatec rig. So we are going to be just sending this car. It is going to be, uh, well, paddle shifters which is a good thing we have paddle shifters on our uh, Fanatec rig we are going to be uh, just seeing how the game reacts and have a little fun on Norschleiven and uh, well see if we can survive Norschleiven with uh, this M235 race car so we're going to get right to it once we load in alright so we are here Norschleiven looks like we're doing two laps and it looks like we have someone behind us people behind us our goal is to not crash and just finish the races we are at 100% force feedback, default values. Oh, and that's strong. That is a strong wheel. A lot stronger than that Logitech was. Oof. This is gonna be a workout to finish this. Go. Ow. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. I'm getting bumped around by these guys. We're staying somewhat in control, though. Set, of course, a whole nother monster. This car. Oh, my. And this force feedback is insane. Um dead oh don't lose it oh my gosh I probably would not have been able to hold that with my other wheel but we were able to hold it with this this feedback is strong the wheel is definitely uh, more intense ow why are these guys just hitting me that guy's gonna lose it maybe not Apparently we're getting beat by uh, Porsches and stuff right now, but like I said, I'm not trying to uh, win this race, just uh, trying to not crash and finish at least one lap here at Norschleiven in this M235 race car. 100% force feedback. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. That hurt my wrists. <laughs> Definitely gonna take some getting used to of this feedback and how intense this is here on a seto, but I am enjoying this right now. As much as I almost hurt my wrist, but we are good. We are also gonna go probably uh Oh I thought I was slower than that definitely need to uh, play more seto here so used to physics on uh, Forza that the feedback of physics on this game are insane but we are gonna do our best here today and just try I've already wrecked once, so. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure these feedbacks should be this strong. So if you guys have some uh, feedback settings for a seto, if you're very curious what you guys are running for force feedback settings, I am on just the default game force feedback. And this is very strong, really rough. But we're managing and having a lot of fun doing it. The 
At least my wheel's not wanting to die. It's always a plus, right? Everything's working. We're good to go. We're way back in 16th, but hey, who cares? I had a chance the other weekend to play Assetto on my buddy's PC with VR, and uh, well, that's just by far the best thing in the world. Oh, jeez. I didn't need to slow down that much for that turn, but... So, if you guys want to keep seeing a set of Corsa here on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys want to play some Assetto. Maybe do some racing, drifting, and stuff like that. I feel like we're going to hit the drift circuit before this episode ends. We are going to be on this wheel. It's going to be a little bit different with that uh, flat bottom. But uh, I'm up for the challenge here. Just hot, la basically hot lapping here at North Slyvan. Slowly getting back to the feel of how this game. Oh! Getting back to uh, the feeling. It's definitely more of a workout than that G920 was. But I feel like this is much more real feel. Oh gosh. Ugh. As long as the wheels don't rip out of my arms. I have to do some like forearm exercises in order to play a setto. Starting to slide a little bit there, but we're good. I feel like I want to start doing some hot lapping in cars and try and get the best lap times in certain cars and see what cars are quicker. Is that something you guys would be interested in seeing here on a Seto? Let me know down comment section down below. Oof. Like I said, we're going to do some drifting after this. Oof. Trying to just focus and be as, I guess, smooth as I can. That is not very friendly when it catches uh, catches air like that. I keep forgetting this car has like a a dummy downshift that won't let you downshift unless you're low enough RPM. Oof. So definitely uh, a workout and definitely a huge change from Forza Motorsport 7. I feel like I could turn mo Motorsport up to feel like this now that I have a wheel that I know can take it. That's rough. Yeah, I bet you don't want to let go. Nope. You didn't want to let go of the wheel there. Oh, shit. No. Not what you want to do. Oh, man. All right, so we died. So <laughs> I feel like we should end that here and go try some drifting real quick and see how we do in an E30 on the drift circuit and see what we can do. BMW, Drift E30, let's go load in. And we should be on our handbrake. Handbrake should be working as well as our shifter. We should be good to go. We are gonna be using this flat bottom wheel, so this could be a little different, or we could be okay. Not sure. So a set of Corsa, definitely a lot of fun. Definitely more of a workout, for sure. And, uh, just uh, 
just cockpit view a little bit back and then um, we're going to switch to ah, we're gonna leave everything how it is apparently my H pattern is not on technical difficulties controls advanced use H pattern there we go now we're good there we go definitely like I said very little weird with this flat bottom wheel but uh definitely feels a lot easier and a lot smoother to drift on the Fantec than it did the G920 I feel like we can just get a proper wheel on here and uh, have a lot of fun oh because that flat bottom is definitely uh Causing some weird rotations on in my mind right now. Reverse entry. Oh, how did we. How did that work? I am actually surprised that worked. Oh, I can even throw some serious reverse entries. On this setup right now. Oh, losing it there. So, if you guys want to keep seeing us, of course, on the channel, make sure you tap that like button, hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate all the support. I feel like drifting with this wheel is a lot better than I was when I was trying to do this game on my uh, G920. It could just be because of the response of the wheel now. Oh, I feel like we should get some Assetto tandems now on the channel just because this feels so much better even though we just lost all that. We get a proper wheel on here, not this uh, flat cut wheel. Yep, definitely like how this feels. So <laughs> make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of it are found in the description box below. I think that'll do it here for today's episode. A little, uh, little drifting, a little racing, getting back on the Assetto Corsa kick. And, uh, well, I feel like uh, this, this game is going to be that much better with this wheel. I thought I was going to go for 360, so I'll do it for this episode here on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And so, until next time, I'm Evil Rabbit. I will see you guys next time.